guys! Welcome sa Cup of Teach. In this video, we're going to talk about Venn Diagram and its application. Part 1. So the targets in this video is first to recall the operations on sets. Number 2, use Venn Diagram to represent sets, subsets, and set operations. Let us recall the operations on sets. So, I have here two students. This one is Hannah and this one is Lian. They were tasked by their teachers to bring three of their favorite fruits. So, Hannah brought apple, banana, and orange. Si Lian naman nagdala ng grapes, mango, and apple. So, from the fruits na dinala ng dalawa, we can create two sets. So, we have Hannah's fruits. We can name it as set A. So, the elements of set A is orange, apple, and banana. So, Leah naman, we can name her set of fruits as set B, where the elements are grapes, mango, and Apple. So, from the sets ng favorite fruits ng dalawang student, which is Hannah and Lian, what is the following? So, we have the first one. What is A union B? So, again, kapag union, you just have to combine all the elements in set A and set B. So, A union B is Okay, a set of orange, apple, banana, grapes, and mango. So, kahit dalawang beses nating nakita si apple, isang beses lang natin siyang isusulat sa union. Next, we have A intersection B. So, alin yung parehong element ng set A and set B? So, we have here, Apple. Meron din tayo sa kabilang apple. Kaya, ang ating A intersection B ay very good. Apple. How about A minus B? So, ano-ano yung mga elements na meron kay A na kay A, pero wala kay B. Meron kay A, wala kay B. Ano ba ang meron natin kay A? We have orange, apple, and banana. Alin dito sa set A, sa tatlong ito, ang wala kay set B? So, ang wala kay set B ay orange and banana. Therefore, yun ang ating A minus B. Orange and banana. How about the last one? We have B minus A. So, kabalik taran lang. Ano yung meron kay set B na wala kay A? So, set B, we have Grapes, mango, and apple. Alin sa tatlong ito ang wala kay set A? So, we have grapes and mango. That is the answer. Narecall na natin ang operations and sets. Kaya, tuloy na tayo sa ating topic. Sets and subsets may be illustrated using a diagram called Venn Diagrams. It shows the relationship between sets. So, trivia lang sa Venn diagram. Venn diagrams were created by John Venn, an English logician and philosopher in 1880s. Ito si John Venn. So, ano ba yung itsura ng Venn diagram? A Venn diagram consists of a rectangle with circles inside. The rectangle represents the universal set and the circles inside represents the different subsets in the universal set. So, in this example, we have here the universal set U and then we have here two subsets. Okay, we have here set A and then we have here set B. So, in this part of set A, yung white part here, dito nakalagay all the elements in set A only. Dito naman sa white part in set B, 
dito nakalagay yung elements in set B only. Dito naman sa part na to, kung saan nag-overlap si set A and set B, dyan nakalagay lahat ng elements in set A and B. So, yung pagkakapareho ni set A and B, nandyan sa gitna. So, I'll give you some examples of set operations na nakarepresent as Venn diagram. So, let's have this one. So, this one is B subset A or B is a subset of A. Kasi, as you can see, set B is inside of set A, meaning lahat ng elements ni set B ay nakapaloob kay set A. This one naman is the representation of A intersection B. So, bakit magkahiwalay? As you can see, the elements of set A are 1, 2, and 3. And the elements of set B is 4 and 5. Diba pag sinabi natin intersection, yung magkapareho. Meron ba tayong magkaparehong elements doon sa dalawang set? Wala. Kaya, wala silang overlapping na part. So, magkahiwalay yung set na yan. So, these sets are what we call the disjoint set. Kasi, wala silang intersection. Next is, we have A intersection B. And the shaded region represents A intersection B. So, itong shaded part na to, Ito yung intersection ni A and B. Let's have this one. Okay? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, shaded lahat ng set A and set B. Ang shaded region na yan represents A union B. So, lahat ng elements ni set A and elements ni set B ay shaded. In the next Venn diagram, as you can see, lahat ay shaded maliban dito sa intersection ni A and B. So, the shaded section or the shaded region represents A intersection B prime. So, lahat ay nakashade maliban lang dito kay A intersection B. Next is we have Okay, so ano naman yung nakashade? Yung labas lang ng A and B, ng set A and B. So, the shaded region represents a union B prime. So, yung A union B ay hindi kasama. Let us have this as an example. The following is the list of students in group U. They were asked for their favorite social networking site, Facebook or Twitter. Students who chose Facebook were in set F and those whose favorite is Twitter were in set T. So, we have here the universal set or set U. We have Adrian, Ben, Carla, Debbie, Eli, Faith, Gabe, Hannah, Ivan, and Jack. So, the students who chose Facebook were in set F, which is Ben, Debbie, Faith, Gab, and Jack. Those who chose Twitter were Adrian, Ben, Gabe, Hannah, and Ivan. Let us now draw the Venn diagram. So, don't forget the universal set U. Okay. Yung rectangle. And then, we have here two circles. Which is, this circle is for set F. This circle is for set T. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, we have here an intersecting part itong part na to? Because we have two students who answered that their favorite social networking site is both Facebook and Twitter. So, sino yung dalawang yun? We have here Ben and Gabe. Ayan, may Ben and Gabe din dito sa baba. So, ang ilalagay natin sa intersection ng ating set F and T is Ben and Gabe. So, ang ilalagay lang natin dito sa part na to ng set F is Debbie, Faith, and Jack. Dito naman sa part na to ng set T is 
Adrian, Hannah, and Ivan. Kasi si Ben and Gabe na andito na sa intersection. So, hindi na sila um, pwedeng isama dito sa set F or dito sa set T. Dito na lang sila sa intersection. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, parang merong kulang. Wala pa tayong Carla and Eli. Kasi wala silang pinili dun sa ating pagpipilian. Hindi nila pinili si Facebook, hindi rin nila pinili si Twitter. So, saan natin sila ilalagay? So, we're going to place Eli and Carla outside set F and set T. Dun sila sa loob ng universal set. So, ayan si Carla at Eli. Carla and Eli are outside set F and T. This means they are not the elements of set F or set T. Let us use Venn diagram to represent the following. So, the first one is F union T. So, kapag mag-shade tayo ng F union T, lahat ng set F and set T ay nakashade. So, ayan. Nakashade si F, buong F. Nakashade din si T, pati yung intersection. Next, we have F intersection T. So, dapat ang nakashade lang is yung part ng intersection. Ayan. So, ang nakashade lang natin ay si Ben at si Gabe. Yung part ng F lang ay hindi nakashade, pati yung part lang ng T. Let us have F minus T. So, this is how you shade F minus T. So, remember, when we say F minus T, lahat ng meron kay F na wala kay T. So, itong part lang na to ay yung meron kay F na wala kay T. Kasi itong part ng F na to, the intersection, ito yung part na meron tayo kay T. Kaya, hindi siya kasama sa shading. Ito lang. Ayan, itong side lang na to ng F. Next is, we have F prime. So, remember, pag F prime, isi-shade natin lahat na hindi kasama sa set F. So, it looks like this. Okay? So, yung set F, yung buong circle ni set F ay walang shade. Ang nakashade lang lahat outside set F. Kasama yung universal set. Next is, we have P prime. So, kagaya nandun sa F prime, lahat ay nakashade maliban kay set T. Ayan. So, yung buong T, walang nakashade. Si F lang at saka si universal set ang meron. Next, we have F intersection T prime. So, lahat ay nakashade maliban sa intersection ng F at T. Ayan. Lahat nakashade maliban dito sa intersection. Next one is we have F union T prime. So, ang isi-shade natin, lahat ng hindi kasali sa F union T. So, this is it. Ayan. So, this is F set F. This, this is set T. So, pag pinagsama mo yan, that is F union T. So, ang isi-shade natin, yung hindi kasama sa F union T, which is yung nasa labas. Next, Lastly, we have F prime intersection T prime. Okay, so paano naman siya nakuha? Remember that this one, lahat ng ito ay F prime. Ayan, yan ay F prime, lahat. Then, ito naman ang T prime. So, hindi kasama yung intersection. Lahat ng yan ay T prime. Sorry, lumagpas. Ayan, T prime yan. So, aling part dyan ang parehong may shade? So, yung pareho lang na may shade ng green at yellow ay yung nasa labas. So, itong part lang na to sa labas. Kaya, this is our F prime intersection T prime. Itong nasa labas lang na part.
Let us try to write the elements of this example in a Venn diagram. So, animals fall into three distinct groups based upon what they eat. This is a natural way to often group animals. Plant eaters are herbivores, meat eaters are carnivores, and animals that eat both plants and meat are omnivores. The following are list of animals that are grouped according to what they eat. So animals that eat plants only or set H, we have deer, cow, elephant, rabbit, and horse. Then animals that eat meat only or set C, we have eagle, snake, lion, tiger, and crocodile. And lastly, we have animals that eat plants and meat. We have bear, chicken, pig, and human. Okay, now let us draw the Venn diagram. So first thing, you have to draw the rectangle that represents the universal set. Then draw the two circles that represent set H for the herbivores and set C for the carnivores. So as you can see, we have here an overlapping part for H and C. We have the intersection. Kasi meron tayong animals na kumakain ng both plants and meat. Kaya meron tayong intersection. So ang una nating lalagyan ng elements is this part, the intersection. So we have bear, chicken, pig, and human. For the herbivores, we have deer, cow, elephant, rabbit, and horse. Then for the carnivores naman, we have eagle, snake, tiger, lion, and crocodile. On this next example, we are going to write the elements in the Venn diagram and we will try to shade the Venn diagram based on the given set operation. So here we go. The following are the list of subjects taken in junior high school. So we have here the given, the universal set. We have English, Math, Science, Filipino, AP, MAPE, ESP, HE, Vocational, and Research. For set A, we have English, Science, MAPE, AP, and Math. For set B, we have ESP, Filipino, HE, Math, and AP. For set C, we have Math, MAPE, ESP, HE, and Research. Representing sets using Venn diagram, do not forget to draw first the rectangle that represents the universal set. Bago nyo i-drawing yung mga circles na representing naman yung mga subsets. And also, don't forget to label your diagram. So, we have here set U or the universal set for the rectangle. We have here set A for this circle. We have set B for this circle naman. And we have set C for this circle. Now, we are going to write all the elements per set muna. So, we have for set A, English, MAPE, Science, Math, and AP. For set B, we have Filipino, Math, HE, AP, and ESP. And lastly, for set C, we have HE, Math, MAPE, ESP, and Research. Pero para may kulang, meron tayong hindi na isama na galing sa universal set. So, wala siya sa set A, wala siya sa set B, wala siya sa set C. Ilalagay natin siya ngayon sa rectangle lang sa universal set. And that is the vocational. Sa universal set lang siya. Now, meron tayong mga elements na makikita kay set A na meron din kay set B. Kay set B, meron si set C. Si set C, meron kay set A. Taging tandaan na once lang natin isusulat yung mga makakapareho na elements. So, paano natin gagawin yon? Take a look. So, in set A and set B, meron tayong magkaparehas na elements. We have AP. 
So, itong AP na to ay dapat na isulat natin sa intersection ni set A at set B, which is dito. Okay? So, lalagay natin dyan si AP. Next naman, sa B and C, ang magkapareho natin, we have ESP and HE. So, si ESP and HE ay dapat na makikita natin dito. So, tatanggalin natin silang dalawa dyan. Ilalagay natin sila dito sa part na ito. Then, si set C naman, may similarity din kay set A. We have MAPE. So, si MAPE ay dapat mawawala dyan and mapupunta siya dito sa part na to. So, tanggalin natin si MAPE dyan. Lagay natin dito. Okay. Wala na ba tayong magkakapareho? Meron pa. So, kay set A, kay set B, at kay set C, meron tayong magkakapareho. Which is yung mass. So, si mass, tatanggalin natin dyan, ilalagay natin dito. So, alis si mat dyan, lalagay sa pinaka gitna. So, this part of your set, pareho siya kay set A and set B. This naman ay pareho kay set B and set C. This is pareho kay set A and set C. And then yung sa innermost part, yan yung pagkakapareho ng tatlong sets. So, this Filipino ay ito lang yung na kay set B. Solo lang siya kay set B. Set A naman, we have English and Science. In set C, we have Research. Now, let us try to represent. So, dun galing sa nagawa nating Venn diagram. Let us try to answer or let us try to shade these set operations. So, the first one we have A union B union C. So, we have to combine all the elements of set A, set B, and set C. So, how are we going to shade that? Okay, so lahat yan dapat nakashade. Lahat ng set A, set B, and set C. Kasi, yun yun. Pagsasamahin lahat. Next, how about B union C? So, we have here set B. We have here set C. So, yun lang dalawang yan ang kailangan natin. We have to combine the two. So, the shade should be like this. How about A intersection C? So, we have here set A. We have here set C. And we just need the intersection. So, yung nasa gitna lang ni A at ni C, which is located here. So, yan lang dapat yung nakashade. Next is we have A intersection B. So, this is set A. This is set B. And we have to shade the intersection. So, the intersection of A and B is here. Ayan. Next is we have the A prime. Okay? This is set A. So, we have to shade everything except for A. So, we have this one. Ayan, nakashade ang lahat maliban kay set A. Next, B prime. This is set B. So, we have to shade everything except set B. Like this. Next, let's have C prime. This is set C. And we have to shade everything except set C. Ayan. So, this is C prime. Next, we have A intersection B intersection C. This is set A. This is set B. This is set C. So, saan nagtagpo yung tatlong set? 
So, ito, ang intersection lang niya ay A at B. This one is B, C. This one is A, C only. So, ang intersection ng tatlo, nung A, B, at C, ay itong nasa gitna. So, yan lang ang ating shaded part for A, intersection B, intersection C. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!